हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू जे सी ई कनेक्ट सीरीज ऑफ लेक्चर्स सो विल कंटिन्यू सम मोर न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ पेल्टन व्हील सो लेट एस टेक्स वन मोर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज अ पेल्टन व्हील इज टू बी डिजाइंड फॉर द फॉलोइंग स्पेसिफिकेशंस शाफ्ट पावर लेवन थाउजेंड सेवन हेड अवेलेबल इज थ्री एटी मीटर स्पीड ऑफ रनर इज सेवन फिफ्टी आर पी एम ओवर ऑल एफिशियंसी दैट इज ईटा ओ एटी सिक्स परसेंट जेट डायमीटर इज नॉट टू एक्सीड वन सिक्स ऑफ द व्हील डायमीटर डेटरमाइन द व्हील डायमीटर द नंबर ऑफ जेट्स रिक्वायर्ड डायमीटर ऑफ जेट टेक द सी वी वैल्यू पॉइंट नाइन एट फाइव एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के यू दैट इज स्पीड रेशो इज पॉइंट फोर फाइव दैट एस राइट फर्स्ट द गिवन डाटाज द डाटाज गिवन हियर आर द शाफ्ट पावर इज गिवन दैट इज पी इज लेवन थाउजेंड सेवन सेवेंटी टू किलो वैट द स्पीड ऑफ रनर इज गिवन दैट इज एन इज सेवन फिफ्टी आर पी एम दैन द हेड थ्री एटी मीटर अवेलेबल एट द इनलेट ऑफ द टर्बाइन दैन द ओवरऑल एफिशियंसी द टर्बाइन शुड जनरेट इज एटी सिक्स परसेंट एंड द रेशो ऑफ डायमीटर ऑफ जेट टू डायमीटर ऑफ फील That is given as one by sixth. Then the value of CV point nine eight five and the value of speed ratio that is KU is point four five. These all data are given, and they are asked you to calculate what is the wheel diameter, what is the jet diameter, and how many number of jets are required to develop the power uh, of uh, eleven thousand seven seventy two kilowatt. So let us calculate first the wheel diameter. The formula we know as Uh, d is equal to sixteen to u divided by pi n, and substitute the values here. But the velocity of wheel should be equal to u equal to u one equal to u two, as given by u equal to k u times of root up to g h, and h is known and k u is known. Substitute all the values here and get the value of u. Then the value of v, u we get as thirty-eight point eight five meter per second. So next. Substitute the value of uh, u here, then we get the d as point nine eight nine meter. That is nine eighty nine millimeter. Then the diameter of jet can be easily calculated because we know the uh, jet ratio. That is a uh, uh, jet diameter by wheel diameter. That is one by six. So we know here the wheel diameter. Then the jet diameter can easily calculate. That is one sixty five millimeter. Then the number of jets required. The number of jets required will be the total discharge divided by the discharge of one jet. But the total discharge uh, can be calculated. That is uh, uh, here the number of jet formula will be total discharge by discharge of one jet. That is a uh, capital Q by small Q. But we know the overall efficiency of the turbine. That is the shaft power by water power. But the shaft power is given, and the water power is gamma or W H into Q, uh, where Q can be given as P divided by overall efficient efficiency eta O into ga W into H. So from this we can easily get the total discharge. So total discharge we get as three point six seven two meter cube per second. Okay. Then after this, let us calculate. The discharge of one jet, Q, small Q, that the area of jet into velocity of jet. So area of jet that is a pi by four d square into v one, then pi by four and d is known. Then the v one is the velocity of jet will be c v times of root of two g h. Then v get as a one point eight one eight meter cube per second. This is small Q. Then the number of jets once we know the overall discharge, that is total discharge and discharge. Of uh, uh, one jet, then the number of jets can be easily calculated. That is, uh, total discharge by discharge through one jet. Then we get as a two jets. So to generate a power of eleven thousand seven seventy two kilowatt, uh, the Pelton field has to have two jets. Okay, so these two jets are required to generate the uh, given power. Let us take one more problem. Two jets strike the bucket of a Pelton wheel, which is having a shaft power of fifteen thousand four fifty kilowatt. 
the diameter of each jet is 20 centimeter if the net head on the turbine is 400 meter find the overall efficiency of the turbine and take cv value as 1 so in this problem they ask you to calculate the overall efficiency so as we know the formula overall efficiency will be shaft power by water power okay so in this shaft power is given so we need to calculate the water power then we can easily get the overall efficiency of the turbine as we know the shaft power the water power will be gamma of that is specific weight of water then discharge then into h so from this formula we can get the uh, water power then once we know the water power we can easily get the overall efficiency okay so let us write down the given data here the number of jets given here as two number of jets striking the um, wheel or striking the buckets the shaft were given then the diameter of each jet that is 20 centimeter is given 0.2 meter then the area of each jet to be calculated that is a equal to pi by 4 d square since the jet is a cylindrical so pi by 4 d square then we get the area of one jet then the net head available at the inlet of the turbine is 400 meter then the coefficient of velocity is given that is 1 then we can easily get the actual jet striking the bucket that is v1 equal to cv times of root of 2 gh then from this we can easily get the actual velocity that is 88.58 meter per second then discharge of each jet that is q small q is a into v1 then we get this much as area uh, this is the, uh, we have an area of one jet multiply by the velocity then we get the 2.78 meter cube per second that is uh, discharge of each jet then the total discharge since there are two number of jets are striking the buckets hence the total discharge will be 2 into 2.78 we get as a 5.56 meter cube per second then the power at the inlet of the turbine that is the water power so at the inlet of the turbine will be the water power so this is the wheel and these are the buckets mounted on the periphery of the wheel so this is the jet striking then the inlet power will be the water power that water power is given as rho into g into q into h divided by 1000 which will give in a kilowatt or gamma into q into h so we get water power as a 21817.4 kilowatt once we get the water power then we can easily get because overall efficiency formula is shaft power by water power then we can easily get so substitute here shaft power by water power substitute the water power here we get overall efficiency as 70.8 percent okay so let us take one more design problem so generally this type of problem will be asked for uh, 12 to 15 marks 12 to 15 marks problem it is a pelton wheel has to develop 13,000 to 30 kilowatt under a net head of 800 meter while running at a speed of 600 rpm if the coefficient of jet cv is 0.97 speed ratio k is 0.46 and the jet diameter is 1 by 16 of wheel diameter calculate the pitch circle diameter and the quantity of water supplied to the wheel and the number of jets required assume overall efficiency as 85 percent so let us write first the given data here the given data are the shaft power is given so the power is given this much power uh, needs to be developed then the head available at the inlet of the turbine is 800 meter then the runner rpm the speed of the runner is 600 rpm at this speed the runner should run then the value of cv is 0.97 and the speed ratio is given as a 0.46 then they also given the jet ratio that is diameter of jet by diameter of wheel as 1 by 16 and the overall efficiency should achieve the pelton wheel as 85 percent for these given data we need to design the pelton wheel as we know the design of pelton wheel means we need to calculate the pitch circle diameter or there is a runner diameter and the quantity of water supplied to the wheel and the number of jets required then the bucket dimensions okay so let us calculate first the pitch circle diameter since uh, we know the that is a d equal to 16 to u divided by pi n 
but the velocity of the wheel can be given as u equal to ku into root of 2 gh then substitute the value of uh, uh, KU is and H is also given then calculate the U value that is 57.63 meter per second then uh, calculate the uh, diameter of V that is 1.834 meter or 1.834 millimeter then the ratio of uh, that is a small d by capital D that is jet diameter by d is also given 1 by 16 so in this the capital D is known then the small d can easily calculate that is the diameter of jet okay so that is 114.6 millimeter or 0.1146 meter then the quantity of water supplied to the wheel that is q equal to p divided by uh, eta o into w into h substitute the uh, shaft power and the overall efficiency and w into h then we get the total quantity of uh, water supplied will be uh, 1.983 meter cube per second then the number of jets required the number of jets will be total discharge by discharge of a single jet then the total discharge by single jet but a single discharge will be a into v1 that is pi by 4 d square into cv into root of 2 gh and as we know the diameter of uh, jet that is uh, that can be calculated as q equal to pi by 4 into diameter of jet that is d square then we get single jet that is discharge is 1.25 meter cube per second then the number of jets will be total discharge by sing one discharge through one uh, jet then it will be two jets the number of jets required will be two jets so once we get the number of jets then we can easily calculate the dimensions of the bucket in terms of uh, jet diameter okay then uh, take one more uh, example that is uh, here a double jet felton wheel develops 895 kilowatt with an overall efficiency of 82 percent under a head of 60 meter the speed ratio is 0.46, the jet ratio is 12, the nozzle coefficient is 0.97, find the jet diameter, wheel diameter and speed in RPM. So first let us write the given data, the uh, power is given 895, overall efficiency is given, head is given, speed ratio is given, jet ratio is also given and the CV value is given. So for these given data, let us calculate the jet diameter, the total discharge to be calculated first by using the formula of overall efficiency as we know the overall efficiency formula shaft power by water power so from this formula we can easily get the total discharge the so total discharge can obtained as 1.85 meter cube per second then after this one let us calculate the number of jets required the number of jets required will be the total discharge divided by discharge of each jet that is capital q by small q but uh, as we know the total discharge is 1.85 divided by small q and also in problem there are two number of uh, uh, sorry uh, the here the the number of jets says two sorry in this problem a double jet it is mentioned here a double jet so hence you have to take the two number of jets here the number of jets are given here so let us take number of jets and you will get the discharge through one jet that is 0.927 meter cube per second but q equal to small q a into v1 then the area of each jet can be easily calculated pi by 4 d square then the velocity of each jet will be v1 equal to cv root of 2 gh then we get as a 33.28 meter per second then q equal to pi by 4 d square into 30 uh, d square into 33.28 then q is known but is small q is known then 26.13 into d square then we can get that diameter of jet that is that is 18.188 meter then the wheel diameter can be easily calculated because we know the jet ratio that is d by d the jet ratio is given as a 12 then the d by d then the capital d can be easily calculated that is capital d is 
meter. Then the speed ratio can be easily calculated once we get know the uh, d. D is known 60 into u divided by pi n. So n equal to 60 into u divided by pi d. Then the n can be easily calculated. That is 134 rpm. So u can u also can be calculated k u into root of 2 gh. Then u knowing u knowing uh, uh, d and n can easily calculated. So this is the answer. I hope you understood these problems. So practice uh, this kind of a problems. So these are a very very important problem for the examination point of view. So let us take a, a one more problem. That is a design a Pelton wheel. See, design a Pelton wheel for a head of 80 meter and a speed of 300 rpm. The Pelton wheel develops 103 kilowatt shaft power, takes CV is 0.98 and the speed ratio is 0.45 and overall efficiency is 0.8. So let us write the given data first. The H is given, the head available at the inlet of the turbine, the speed that is the runner speed 300 rpm, power to be developed 103 kilowatt and the CV is 0.98. KU is 0.45 and overall efficiency as 80. That uh, you have to follow the design procedure as I discussed in earlier class. Uh, just to follow the design steps. So what do you mean by the design of Pelton wheel? So design of Pelton wheel means you have to calculate the diameter of the wheel, the jet diameter and the number of buckets required and the dimensions of the bucket. So let us calculate the diameter of the wheel here. As we know the diameter of wheel formula is capital D is equal to 60 into u divided by pi n where u is that is the speed of bucket u equal to k into root of 2 gh. So from this you calculate the value of u then once we get the value of u so that is uh, we get the value of u as a 17.82 meter per second then calculate the value of d that is uh, uh, 1.134 meter we get our 1134 1, millimeter then the jet diameter that is a uh, jet diameter can be calculated um, to calculate the jet diameter we need to calculate first the discharge so discharge can be calculated as we know the overall efficiency formula the shaft power by water power from this formula we have to get the total discharge the total discharge is 0.164 meter cube per second but q equal to a into v1 and q equal to a into v1 so from this we can easily get the diameter of the jet because a equal to pi by 4 d square and v1 is also known and hence we have to calculate the um, diameter of the jet so diameter of the jet here we are getting as 73 millimeter so once we get the diameter of the jet then the dimensions of the bucket can be easily calculated so this is the uh, plan of the bucket and this represents the uh, width of the bucket and this is the radial length of the bucket then this is the crew length and the depth of the bucket can be calculated this is c then the width of the bucket generally to be taken in terms of diameter of jet to be taken that is 4 to 5 times of d then here uh, you can we may take a 4 or a 5 here i am taking 5 times of d we get the width of the bucket as a 365 millimeter so for a smooth working of a pelton wheel uh, the bucket uh, width to be taken as a 5 times of d then the depth of the bucket that is 0.8 to 1.2 times of d yeah, uh, here I have taken 1.2 times of D, then calculate that one. Then the radial length, that is a capital L, 2.4 to 3.2 times of D. Let us take a 3D or 3.2D, calculate that one. Then finally, you have to calculate the uh, number of buckets required. So number of buckets required will be the Z equal to D divided by 2 into D plus 15 or 0 0.5 because uh, D by D, you can write a 0.5 times of m plus 15 also this is also correct because m equal to what m equal to capital d by small d okay then finally we get the optimum number of buckets over the wheel as 23 numbers okay i hope you understood this one okay so like this uh, you have to calculate the how you have to design the uh, pelton wheel bucket
So can take a one more uh, problem. The following uh, here, the following data relate to the Pelton wheel. Head available is seventy two meter. Speed of the wheel is two hundred rpm. The shaft power of the wheel, the shaft power of the wheel, as one one five kilowatt. Speed ratio point four five. Coefficient of velocity uh, CV is point nine eight. Overall efficiency point that is eighty five percent. Then design a Pelton wheel. So like this, the problem will be given. So generally, this type of problem, as I said, it will be asked for uh, fifteen to twenty marks. Okay. So you have to design a Pelton wheel. The design means, as I explained earlier, the design of Pelton wheel means. So diameter of wheel to be calculated. This is the formula to be used. Okay, d equal to sixteen to u divided by n, but the bucket velocity will be u equal to k into root of two g h. Calculate the value of u here. Then the substitute back in the formula of d, we get one point six one five meter. Then let us calculate the jet diameter. So jet diameter can be calculated by by once we get the discharge. That how to calculate the discharge? Discharge can be calculated from the formula of overall efficiency. Overall efficiency is shaft power by water power. So from this formula, we can easily get the total discharge. Once we get the total discharge. So once we get the total discharge, so the Q equal to what a into v. Then from this we know the total discharge a into v. A is pi by four d square. V one is what c v into root of two g h. Then we get the diameter of the jet. Once we get the diameter of the jet small d, then all that is all uh, uh, dimensions of the bucket can be expressed in terms of uh, diameter of jet. That is b is four to five times of d. Then we get as the width of the bucket. Then the depth of the bucket also we get. That is the value of c. This is the plan of the bucket. So we can easily get the uh, width of the bucket, radial length, then the groove length, then the depth of the bucket as a c. Okay. So calculate all uh, dimensions. That is b. Calculate all the dimensions here. That is uh, diameter of uh, the sorry the width of the bucket, depth of the bucket, and the radial length. Then the uh, number of bucket uh, groove length. Then the number of buckets required. Z equal to d by two d plus fifteen. You'll be getting twenty five numbers. Optimum numbers of buckets required over the fee. Finally, you draw this one. That is the plan of the bucket. I hope you understood these kind of a problems. Okay, so so next class I'll be uh, uh, giving you the uh, the Kaplan turbine and the Francis turbine. Okay, thank you.